Oh, here we're an old friend. <laughs> Rye, Town Branch. We're going to explain what Town Branch is in a minute. 100 proof. I believe it's 55% barley. No, 55% rye. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. 55% rye, 30% um, corn. Corn, thank you. And 15% barley, malted right. barley. Tell me a little bit about rye, or, uh, Town Branch. Town Branch. Town Branch it was founded by Dr. Pierce Lyons, uh, who was a Huge in animal science, huge, huge. A man started a company uh, uh, in 1985 from his garage with $10,000, and he's a uh, God rest his soul, good man. He died, passed away a couple of years ago, a billionaire. Uh, and is he, he from another country? Yeah, he's he's from Ireland, and oh. uh, and he uh, he was a he did a um, internship at Guinness. Uh, he was a yeast. His his doctor his doctorate was in yeast uh, fermentation. And, uh, so there's no clown. He, no, no, and uh, he has a very distinct style, and this rye, being a high, uh, high corn, high malt, barley malt, it's going to be uh, a sweeter rye. Rye whiskey distilled in dual copper pot stills. I like the red top. Yeah, and this this is uh, they've redone the bottle. This is a uh, yes. this is an antique bottle. Um, so save that bottle. They've redone it. It's it's a square bottle now. It's very but that nice. that's a oh, bottle. Yeah. That bottle was made in Italy. Oh no, it's kidding. imported. Yes. Isn't there bottles now made in and Paris? Yeah, they're they're Paris. They don't screw around. With no, no. It's every everything they do. When I imported uh, wine, I had Italian wine, but I had my bottles hand blown in Spain. It was kind of cool. All right. Another story. I think I told it before. Anyway, let's give it a sniffy snoo. Obviously, obviously, you get a rye bread. Um, it's anywhere four to six years. Man, I've smelled a lot of wood. Yes, a lot of a lot of that spiciness that comes with rye, mm -hmm. the rye bread, the pepper, maybe some cinnamon, some. Spices that will kind of burn your tongue in. Cinnamon, cinnamon rye toast. Yeah. That'd be good though. Yeah. I never had that. Yeah, I had the wheat. I think cinnamon rye toast would be pretty damn good. I'm sure it would. Rye toast, you, you toast it, you put the butter on it. Butter and sprinkle cinnamon sugar. Oh, that's what's oh, yeah, wow. there you go. <laughs> I was a real treat to the kid my mom would make cinnamon Yeah, but I never had the rye. No. Uh, there'll be a review on that soon. <laughs> We're reviewing it right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give it a little. Mm -hmm. Definitely taste that barley influence. The, the, it, it, this would be one of your sweeter rides that you'll corn. find because of the corn and the barley. It's it's really to be uh, to be a rye. It's got to be fifty one percent. True. This is only 55, and when I say only, that would be low ride for a ride. Because it's some rides 100%. Percent. Yeah, it would, well, pretty much 95, because you got to have the uh, barley malt in there for fermentation, but uh, you know, it can be 4%. Mm. But now this is, like I said, it's up there 15%, and so it's... Of course, this being in Kentucky, you always have a little corn influence. Yes. Now, let me say this. This is the only distillery on the Bourbon Trail, I believe. That is a distillery and a brewery. Absolutely. And Absolutely. the brewery is what? Uh, the brewery is. Down Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, they make Kentucky ale. Right. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, Alt well, Alt Tech is the. Is Lexington the, Brewing. Lexington, what, Brewing. Lexington Brewing is what it is. And it used to be Kentucky ale. Now it's called Red Ale. They rebranded a lot of the stuff. They make a lot of new stuff. I took a tour of this place. And. Let me tell you what happens if you take a tour of this place. First of all, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a nice, beautiful facility. But you get to taste their bourbons. You get to taste their rye. They also make some gin and some other stuff. But you also get to taste a whole bar full of their beers. And they got some good craft beers. And I've reviewed a lot of them. 
Yes. So this is a fun, fun place to go to because you get their whiskeys, their gins, their beers, and they do a lot of different stuff, and it's very, and it's a beautiful place. They do anything beside the rye, the, the uh, bourbon, and yes, and they uh, have three. They have three distilleries now. They do a rum. Uh, they did a um, a Caribbean rum. Uh, they have a distillery now um, in Ireland, and uh, they do they have an Irish whisk. Yes, the dueling barrels is in uh, Pikeville, Kentucky. Um, yeah. You know what they need to do? Take that rum barrel and and do some um, bourbon in it and get that rum in it. like angels in it. Yes, uh, they're they're working on that as we speak. They're working on that as we speak. Um, yeah, and uh, they have a um, they have a rhubarb gin that is just that sounds good. It, it's it's phenomenal. It really is a rhubarb the, gin. To be rhubarb and gin. Well, I've grabbed that. Yeah, it's it's very good. Um, I've done many of their beers. Yes, you have. Um, I I like the place. I'm gonna tell you right now. I like it. It's a beautiful place. It's basically in downtown Lexington. Beautiful facilities. I love the fact they have so many spirits. And they have a beautiful array of beers. And hey, I want to do a shout out real quick. I just thought of it. Did you see on the last video I posted? Um, who posted? Uh, Ghost Cobb. Ghost Cobb has a um, pipe tobacco. He's an uh, ex fireman, lives in uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. He's asked for a bunch of stuff. He's excited. He's like, try this, try that. You know, he wants to see more videos. Anyway, I've been following him, and he's been following me for a long time. I feel like I know him. I'm going to visit him uh, eventually down the road, and, and I'm going to share some coffee, a pipe, some whiskey with him. But I just want to say, check out Ghost Cobb, regular spelling of ghost, another word, Cobb, C-O-B, and tell him I sent you, because he's, a, he's just a good fellow, man. He really is, and I, I really like him. So uh, I just want to do a shout out to him. All right. And uh, yeah, and then we appreciate the uh, shout out for Town Branch. Uh, Town right? Branch is a good. And good. where are they, Johnny? They would be Downtown on West the West. far east end of the Napa Valley. Oh, of right. <laughs> we are in the Napa Valley of Burbank. Yes. That's true. Between Lexington and Louisville, along the I-64 corridor. And so we are on the far east end. If you're from Kentucky, you're a lucky person. Let me tell you why. Because if you love bourbon, there's obviously no other place to live. If you don't love bourbon, you will before you get out of here. <laughs> that I can promise you. There's too much good stuff. There's too many people that are proud of it and want to share it. You're going to get hooked on it. That's what happened to me. And if you um, come to this great state, not only do you, do you get the, 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 you'll pass the horse farms going from Lexington uh, to, uh, to Louisville. It's, it's a great we're ride. We're going from outside of Philly. And we love it here. But let me say this, Bobby. If they're coming, can they shoot us uh, in the comments and say we're coming and maybe we meet them, we've done it before, and, and, and share some, some We stuff. could meet them and give them some inside because, uh, you know, I know people at several different distilleries. And, you want to come uh, here? Come, come give a you shout out to me and John. You know about, you'll know about it if you come here. Give me a shout out. Let me know in the comments if you're coming, when you're coming, and we will do everything we can at least one of us, hopefully both of us, to show you a great time, all right? And what we really need for you to do, what I'm asking oh. you to do is, Johnny goes through all this. We find these bourbons, we find these ryes, we find these beers, we do all this. All Johnny Ashes in return is for you to hit that like and the subscribe button. That's all we ask. Yeah, not ask for any money, not ask for a damn thing. I'll take care of all that. Just subscribe. Okay, give me that power. So, I guess that's it. Right? All right, yeah. All right, everybody. We will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for being here.